Hi folks, uh, welcome back. It's another new year and it's going to be a great one. I have a feeling it's going to be better than last year. Uh, hopefully it will be for you as well. I want to thank you for joining me again here. We're going to go over the different types of wood and um, well not so much the different types of wood but air dried versus kiln dried and what the difference is. Um, and I'm also going to explain to you how you can calculate board foot when you're buying wood. Okay. Some of you are on a budget and you can't buy a lot of wood or you're limited in your space uh, where you can store it. Uh, I'm very fortunate I can store quite a bit over at the farm. Uh, if I get a deal once in a while, which I did recently, I bought a lot of air dried and um, I couldn't pass it up. So um, this is what I'm going to um, share with you today. This is a kiln dried piece of wood. You can see how white it is. Okay, and this is a little bit on a creamier or creamier creamier color um, and this piece is an air dried piece this is one of my cone I have it ready to do my cone project but anyway this one here has um, been it's kiln dried meaning they it's put into um, a uh, kiln to take the uh, moisture out of it. Uh, this is naturally dry, air dried where it's cut and stacked and left alone for a long period of time and, and it will eventually dry out. Um, there's pros and cons to both of these and I explained some of that on my blog and I explained some of that in my on my Facebook but for those of you that don't get into that um, the Facebook or the other and you just are here on YouTube I thought I'll share it with you folks. First of all you can see how white this is. This is a uh, northern bass. This is more of a um, bass that's done locally, I could tell, because of the color. Uh, northern bass is usually whiter, more dense. Some people prefer this only. That's fine. I've had kill dried that was hard, and I've had kill dried that was very soft to car carve. True with the air dried. Lately, I've been more with the air dried because that's what I bought a lot of, and I've been very happy with it. So, um, you know, one isn't superior to the other, I don't think. It all depends what you're using it for. Um, you know, if you want to buy, I bought this in bulk. This was like four inches thick, eight inches wide, and seven feet long. And, and so I had to cut it. I first cut it with a chainsaw because I couldn't pick it up to put it on a bandsaw. And, um, and then did a hunk of it that way and then cut it and sliced it into the pieces that I needed. This here, the advantage here, you can order whatever you want from, from the company. And there's different ones around. My suggestion to you is to go to any wood carving shop. Go look at what they have. Do not buy it at a chain store slash hobby store. Um, that sells basswood. If it's a if it's cha nationally changed store or if it's a hobby chain store, I would steer away. You're going to pay an arm and leg for it. Um, if you can, uh, go to a wood carving club. They'll be able to tell you where to get it. Uh, if you Google it, you can Google uh, wood carving basswood. Uh, a lot of things will come up. Uh, if you get it from a carving supply house, that's probably your best bet or directly from somebody who sells it. Um, I get them from different locations. Some I bought a lot of this uh, from my local carving uh, shop, which is Don Schwartz down in Mannheim, uh, near Lancaster. Uh, and then I bought a bunch of it locally from a person who had it cut a number of years ago, 15 years ago, so it's well dried. Um, and I bought it from them for very, very cheap but they had a bulk of it so uh, you had to have a place to put it. Uh, most people if they live in an apartment they're not going to be able to put like slabs of wood hanging <laughs> from the ceiling and all so um, you know uh, try to see if you can see the wood and, and test the wood before you buy it if you can. A wood carving show does great for that. So that's the deal with that and then people have asked about what type of wood is my branches. It's that it's a poplar okay and here uh, this is a tulip poplar um, it's very very soft it will dry very well if you find it it's local here in PA if you find it cut the ends and seal the ends with a triple glaze sealer uh, Krylon that works out great um, you know and these 
a lot of the branch stuff you can find uh, on a hike usually or if trees tumble down or whatever um, the leaf is unique it looks like a tulip if you look at it uh, if you have the advantage of the leaves are on the tree in the summertime that's what you look for okay so I which one do I prefer well right now I'm using the air dry that's what I have the most of um, and this here is fine for those of you that want to use it um, you know and, and are limited uh, then you're going to pay a little bit more. So my next segment is going to teach you how to calculate um, board foot and what you should be paying. Okay, so join me on my next segment. Okay, all right, bye bye.